Here you go, Marie. Here's a magazine for you. How you going, Marie? Finished with that magazine? Here's another one to look at. Hey Sophie, how's the afternoon going? Pretty good. I've gone on top of some paperwork and the washing's done. Oh good. Um, how's Marie's afternoon going? How do you think that's going for her? Yeah, she's been keeping herself busy reading her magazines. Okay, so I've noticed that she's been turning the pages for the last 30 minutes and she kind of keeps looking around to see where you are. I'm wondering how much is she really enjoying it and is there something else that she likes to do? Well, people don't want to do things all the time. I mean, when I get home, I like to sit down and relax. Yeah, I agree. However, I think that Marie probably spends a lot of her time flicking through magazines. You know, how meaningful is that for her? I just think it's really important we keep asking ourselves the question, how well are we doing this? You know, what, what's her quality of life and how can we support her better? I suppose Marie does spend a lot of her time reading through magazines and she doesn't do much when she's at home. But I don't know what else to do. Okay, so why don't we work through it together? Uh, let's use the four essentials of active support. If we look at um, every moment has potential, how could we apply that? I suppose I could involve Marie in what I'm doing. I could um, check in with her and see if she's happy to fold some washing. Yeah, I think that's a great idea. And I was also thinking that, you know, you could sit with her and read the magazine together or have a chat. One of the other essentials is maximising choice and control. So how Marie is offered choices and makes them. So instead of offering her, you know, one choice like a magazine, perhaps you could give her two or three options to choose from. Sure, I can try that this afternoon. Great, thank you, Sophie. Can I join you, Marie? 